What is Twitter and how does it work? These are questions I get asked all the time. So in this video, I'm going to give you my answer to that and it's coming up right now. So here we are on my Twitter profile as we get straight into this lesson. And if you're watching this video on YouTube, don't forget to hit the subscribe button below to stay up to date with all of my content. Tick the bell icon as well. That way you get notified each time I upload one of my videos. So Twitter for Business is an amazing tool, but the vast majority of people around the world and the business community around the world still really haven't got their head around how to use it. So what is Twitter? Well, Twitter is a real-time information sharing network. We can share information instantly and connect with other people around the world. I like to explain it in a way, it's a bit like texting people online and around the world, that type of thing. 88% of usage though is via a mobile phone. It's very much mobile phone centric. And a tweet is a message that consists of maximum 280 characters. Now that's come up and doubled from initially 140 characters, but it's short, sharp information, getting that information out to the business community around the world. And you can add images and videos and links as well. Some of the Twitter stats, we can read them all on the screen there. Been going for well over 10 years now, over a billion accounts, 300 to 400 million active users, very popular all around the world. Um, most people who are on Twitter, nearly 50% of them or 46%, it's probably nearly 50% now, are using it on a daily basis and I am one of them. Billions of search queries per day. That's right, there are billions of searches that happen on Twitter every day. So there we go, we just had some intro information on Twitter and some stats as well. Hopefully you're now opening your eyes a little bit more to the power of Twitter and the options it may afford you um, in your business and brand. Um, so step one, I suppose, in your Twitter or on your Twitter journey is setting up your profile success for success. So there are about half a dozen parts to setting up your Twitter profile and I'm going to run through them for you here now and you can make sure that you focus on them um, after this tutorial as well. Firstly, you want to focus on creating an eye-catching banner image. It's going to be the most visual part to your Twitter profile when someone lands on you and you can customise this image. Um, sizing of it is 1500 pixels by 500. Maybe add a benefit statement up the top maybe add some information about you, your business and brand, but this is the first area you want to focus on. Secondly, you then want to create, um, you know, an engaging and eye-catching profile image as well. I've just gone with a photo of me. I'm my business, my business is me, so that works for, for myself. But for, for most of you out there, it might be your business logo, it might be a cartoon character, it might be an image, or it might equally be a photo of you. But your banner image and then your profile image are the two most visual parts um, up the top. The third and fourth area that I want everyone to be focusing on, and it's broken up into two parts. You've got your profile name and your username or your Twitter handle. Now, my profile name here is Mark Warnick and it's my name. That's the one in bold. Now, in theory, lots of people can have the profile name that, but then it's the username underneath where I've been able to get at Mark Warnkin. That's where only one person can get it. It's a little bit like you know a domain name, www. whatever it may be. They're unique. So lots of people can have a profile name that's the same, but then only one person can have the Twitter handle or the username. So that's where you may have to get creative um, to see what's available. But you know, try and get your name or try and get your business name before anyone else. Um, but this is what's going to be left behind. This is what you, is is the memorable aspect of when you're engaging on Twitter. It's you know, at you hear people say at you know your Twitter handle or at username that type of thing. The fifth area I want everyone to be focusing on is your um, description area or your bio. Um, now you get 160 characters here, short, sharp, quick information, directly to the point. I'm the guy that makes social media for business owners and brands easy. LinkedIn, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. 
There we go. Social media for business owners and brands. I think it's pretty obvious to the business community around the world what I do and how I help. Try and replicate something short, sharp and sweet. And the last area, Twitter allows us to add a clickable link. For most of you, it will be your website. Um, I've just added one of my sales landing pages down here. When people click on that, it takes them to one of my landing pages or sales funnels. But for most of you, it's probably going to be your website. So there we go. That's how to correctly set yourself up on Twitter and that's step number one. And this is the BBC's um, new service, uh, um, their Twitter um, profile, their Twitter account. This is taken from my desktop. They've done everything correctly, as you would expect a news organisation like them. And this is that more condensed down version via mobile. But they've done everything correctly. Um, here was a post that I snapped um, when I did a screenshot, they posted four minutes ago about the Japanese Prime Minister. So follow some of the most um, prominent or, 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 or uh, well-known Twitter accounts to take inspiration and see and model exactly what they've done. While saying that, this is just a, a simple Twitter profile um, that I saw and I'm going to use it as an example. Lisa, uh, I don't know, but I just love what she's done. She's done everything correctly in regard to setting up a profile. It's clear, it's neat, it's simple and it tells her story. She's done all of those boxes that have uh, ticked all of those boxes that I mentioned before. And her link I like down the bottom here, she's actually linking back to her LinkedIn profile. I love that creativity of that and what she's done on her profile. So once you've set up, you then want to start following others. That's what Twitter is all about. It's a bit like you scratch my back and I scratch your back. You want to start following others and staying up to date with um, you know, what they're doing for their business or brand or personalities, that type of thing. So you want to follow others with intent and relevance and a good portion of them will follow you back. You want to follow others in line with your niche or your industry to stay in touch. You want to follow your customers, maybe your suppliers, business partners, contractors, trade organisations, local business people as well. That's the idea. Even follow your competitors to stay across what they're doing and what others say about them. That's right. Follow your competitors. Um, stay up to date. Stay close to them. And of course, it's okay to be human as well and follow influencers, celebrities, sports stars and brands you're interested in. Remember, we are people first before we are um, the job we do, the business we run, the brand that we work for. After we've done that, we want to start engaging with others and we start engaging by liking and commenting and sharing. And we do that by posting ourselves and we do that by um, engaging with others. Okay, so we've successfully created an eye-catching Twitter profile. It's now time to actually start using Twitter. That's right. Let's let's dive in and start using it. Like a set of golf clubs, like a piano, it's no use buying the golf clubs or piano and not actually using them. Pretty much the same with Twitter. Hey, you've gone to the time and effort to set up a profile. Let's start to engage with the Twitter community around the world. So we go to the home page. And this is just like the news page or the news feed on all of the other social media platforms where you start to scroll through, see what information is there, and you get to like and comment and share and retweet and, and all of those things. So it's, it's similar to what we would be doing on lots of other profiles. So you want to start engaging with um, others and, and following others and things like that. So here's one of the sporting channels here in Australia. It's for a, um, a rugby league football game that's going. Um, there's obviously a player there that's he's got the ball and he's running and it looks like they're going to score a try or for my American friends it would be what you would call a touchdown so I get to um, you know like um, you know like that one and, and, and start commenting and each time I do that that's where I leave behind my Twitter handle amazing here we go amazing oh, I'm using capital letters but it's as simple as this A-M-A-Z amazing try go the blues now the blues is the team there we go so each time you do that you leave behind your calling card and then others may get the opportunity to find you and see what you you know you're all about scrolling through the news feed here lots of um, information here sporting these are the type of um, account, people that I'm following and accounts that I'm following on Twitter so that's how we do we start to like we start to comment and then we start to retweet all of these things are part of being active on social media um, and and as I said at the start there's no use being you know on Twitter or on any of the social media platforms Forms if you're then not going to actually use it. So after you've started to engage with people on Twitter 
and liking and commenting and maybe retweeting, you can actually start searching for people and following them just as you would do on all of the other social media platforms. So Jacinda Ardern is the Prime Minister of New Zealand. She's been in the news quite a bit. She's made um, a, a grand, um, I suppose, presence on the international stage. So there we go. I'm going to now follow Jacinda Ardern. So with her tweeting, um, you know, timelines or, tw or tweeting um, activity that she gets involved in, I will now start to be engaged and start to see posts coming through or tweets coming through from New Zealand Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern. So th that's another strategy. You want to start liking and commenting and sharing and start following people. Think of it as a bit like the news service. We used to all get home for the nightly news at six o'clock, seven o'clock or eight o'clock in our home cities um, and countries. But now we can stay up to date in so many different ways by just being active on Twitter, by engaging with others, by following others, by liking and commenting and sharing and all of that. So let's move on to the next part where you're actually going to start diving in and posting yourself. So now it's time to start posting on Twitter with your first tweet. Relatively straightforward. It's similar to lots of the other social media platforms. We're going to start typing in our content here. We're going to add an image, a video, things like that. So let's get that started as well. So I've already prepared one here. I'm going to be talking about a video that I have already released um, and probably used it before here on Twitter. And it's going to say, in this video, I give five reasons why most people are using LinkedIn wrong. Now, I'm going to direct them to click the link in the comments below to watch. Now, I'm going to select an image or a, a promotional image on this tweet. And this is the image down here, why you're using LinkedIn wrong. I'm going to select that and add it to. So in this video, I give five reasons why most people are using LinkedIn wrong. Click the link in comment section below. So after I've posted this on Twitter, I'm going to go to the comment section below and add the clickable link so people can watch the video. As always, you should be adding hashtags. I always recommend three to five hashtags. Um, hashtags work as a bit of a reference tool if people are, are looking for your content. Um, they would you know, key in hashtags. And so anyone keying in these particular hashtag, there's a chance that my content will come up as a reference and it helps promote me, my business and brand. So here we go, straightforward. In this video, I give five reasons why most people are blah, 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 blah. I've got my hashtags there and let's press tweet and away we go. So there we go, that's how simple it is. Now, if I wanted to actually include the clickable link in the post, I would just do it like that. So the same information, the same hashtags, there is the clickable YouTube link and I would press tweet. So that's how it would look then once I've included the clickable link um, in this particular tweet. Anyone who now clicks on this link, it will start then playing the YouTube video that I had actually um, directed them to, to go to. So that's how simple it is to start posting on Twitter. And, you know, for a lot of people, they might be posting two, three, five times a day. For others, it might only be once a day. For some of them, you might be more than that, more, less than that. But again, think of the golf club example. Think of the um, piano example. There's no use necessarily being on Twitter if you're then going to be invisible by not posting. So a posting strategy could be on Monday, what's planned for the week ahead. Tuesday, you might share some industry news. Uh, Wednesday, some helpful tips and information. Now, this is all regard to a business. Remembering this is Twitter for beginners, but from a business perspective. So all of this information is regarding you, your business and brand to help promote you, your business and brand. Maybe on Thursday, you wanna highlight something about your business. Um, Maybe have a call to action, a post with a call to action in it. Thursday again, you might have a story about your staff. Friday, maybe a very direct call to action, buy now, book now. Um, if you're a restaurant or a, or a function centre, order now, call now, call to actions. If we don't ask people to do anything, they won't do anything. So by actually having a call to action, amazing things actually happen. Maybe on Saturday, what's happening with you, your business and brand on the weekend? Sunday, maybe show a behind the scenes story of your business. So they're just some ideas on how you can plan out a whole week's posting strategy on Twitter and you can use the same content across all of your other social sites as well. Oh, Sunday, we had another one, a story about you and your staff maybe outside of work as well. 
Now, things to remember when posting, using an eye-catching image, you wanna stop the scroll. Video content gets way more engagement. And don't forget to use hashtags. And there is a cool tool that you can find the best hashtags to use, and it's called Hashtagify. It's very um, creative and very helpful. And you want to activate your direct messaging feature because some people want, will want to direct message you on Twitter. They won't want to pick up the phone. They won't go to your website. They will send you a direct message on Twitter. You don't want to lose that opportunity for an opportunity, um, use that opportunity um, for someone who can't direct message you. And this is that website, Hashtagify, that I just mentioned. It's a cool tool if you're wanting to get serious about marketing your business on Twitter and across all of the socials, this might be a really useful tool for you to start using. And still some people aren't quite sure what a hashtag is and how to use it. So a hashtag is any word or phrase without a spaces beginning with the hashtag symbol. Now people use hashtags to find content related to a given topic. We click on a hashtag and we go directly to search results for that term. Remember at the start of the video, we said over 2 billion search queries a day on Twitter. People will search hashtags, people will search. Think of it like Google, where we go to Google and, 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 and um, key in a search to Google. People do the, exactly the same here on Twitter. And again, on all the other social sites as well. Um, when you're posting on Twitter, maybe you can bring a tweet to another person's attention by including their username in your message. Um, you could use it to ask someone a question, thank them, or simply highlight a piece of content. You can even create polls on Twitter. This was one that I did um, not long ago. Um, so if you're looking for more video ideas, so I'm saying so, I'm looking for more video ideas that you'd like me to create. So voting is now open. So. The vast majority of people, when I posted this, are wanting more LinkedIn, um, but equally there's a good scattering of YouTube as well. So you can actually do polls on Twitter. There is lots you can do. This is very much a beginner's guide to getting started on Twitter. And um, But so the fundamentals are important that we start doing the fundamentals before we start moving on to some of the more advanced strategies. So there we go. Hopefully you found this video informative, entertaining and helpful. Um, send me a message on Twitter, follow me on Twitter, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you're watching it on Facebook, of course, give me the thumbs up and a like to my Facebook page. Follow me on LinkedIn. You can connect and follow me, follow me on all of my social media platforms. Send me a message. Say hello. Let me know where you're tuning in from around the world. As we finish up here, Mark Warnken, Social Media Selling 123, signing off. I look forward to seeing you again in another one of my videos real soon.